the research environment is something that I was very unfamiliar with. And being able to learn those skills was really uh, gratifying. So in applying to graduate school, I know that I have skills that other people may not have had. And also I know that I've developed these skills over a much longer period of time than probably an average student might have. Having this community of people that are like me and they want to go to grad school and they want to be successful in school, it kind of, it keeps me on task. At Interview Weekend, um, it showed me how invested the Millennium Scholars are. And to me that, that was amazing because they're invested in you so much that they will have a track for you all the way until you get your PhD. I genuinely believe that if I hadn't come in as a Millennium Scholar to Penn State, my Penn State experience would be diametrically opposed to the one I'm having right now. Uh, even as a smart student coming in, I feel like I was given a sense of direction or like a sense of what I should be doing, when I should be doing it. The Millennium Scholars just helped me go to college in general. I don't think I would be in college without Millennium Scholars. I'm specifically interested on tropical meteorology because that's what affects my community the most, like Puerto Rico specifically, so I really want to target my community um, and work towards their benefit. My feature at the moment is applying to graduate school. It's a process I'm going through right now. I'm applying to PhD programs only um, and I'm hoping to move into that next fall. Specifically, like a scientist that I really look up to, it's Ala Monson. She's the first um, woman meteorologist on Puerto Rico. She created the first science museum, um, which I was an intern on, and I had to have like that personal connection with her, which was really helpful in determining my career. The Hall of Osmond is surrounded by like posters of like famous physicists, and most of them are like white men and sometimes I would get discouraged like walking through those halls like there isn't even like a space for people like me here and then I kind of like have to look up and be like oh wait who's running these labs like who are my professors who are the people working in these labs so I guess representation is really important in STEM because it inspires the next generation of scientists. I should be confident. I am a published researcher. I've been pub like I've been doing research for such a long time. I've done research at other institutions, um, at which I did great work. And coming through and like having done all that now, I'm like, okay, I totally did that. <laughs> I can be a, like a capable and smart scientist. So when you get people to step back and look at a problem or an idea or a scenario from a different perspective or from a more whole perspective, you allow people to solve problems faster, more effectively, and you are able to overcome barriers more easily, especially if you can kind of pull all those perspectives together. Do I believe all CSIs have changed in my lifetime? I'm not sure but I'd love to think that I will. I would love to have an experience in which I go to a just regular professional conference and look around and think, wow, like we made it here. Look at all these people who are from all these different backgrounds, all these different experiences, and we're all here contributing to kind of the same field, and that would be super exciting. I think that's really important, and that could be a really great leap to make, and I definitely would love to see that in the time that I'm working in material science. There's a lot of cool research going on, and I know there's a lot of capable, like diverse minds to do this research, but they just aren't represented. So I feel like I could be a kind of a catalyst for that, just like show other people that look like me that this is a possibility, that this is like a lifestyle that I could have, or that you could have, or that anyone can have, and that the field actually benefits from us being there. Uh, there are a hundred Annas out there, a hundred, thousands if not, of folks who just, you know, they wake up every morning and they've got the capacity. They think about things every day. They come up with solutions to complex problems every day that could benefit other people. Uh, but one, they don't, they don't know that they have the value. They don't see a path for their opportunity. So anything that we can do, anything that I can do, to help people uh, uh, find that path or take advantage of that opportunity, uh, you know, is, is why I'm out here working.